Hey guys, it's Carrie, the Invisible Goddess. Welcome to podcast episode six. Today is January 10th. She says with great confidence. <laughs> Today's probably going to be a short podcast because I have not done squat this week. But last night, when I gave up on something that I was working on and decided to just say, fuck it, and do whatever I wanted, I actually ended up having a lot of fun. So let's start off with my, uh, I don't know, is it a work in progress? I'm about to frog it, but I wanted to show you that I did try. Um, so the first thing that I was trying to work on, Emily gifted me, uh, when I helped her clean up her craft room, she gifted me uh, some yarn in a basket. Um, I don't know if the color is coming up on this. It's a really pretty baby blue. Uh, I think this is a boucle. Um, let's see. It is Country Loom Baby by Loops and Threads, which I think is Michael's. It is a six, super bulky. Feels like a five to me. Um, and you are supposed to use a nine millimeter US Amazon Mary hook. Um, so that's the ball band because Emily has ball bands and I don't. Actually, that's not true because that brown yarn came from her too. So we all lose ball bands. It's okay. So Emily, if you're watching, because I'm no longer going to give you this. I will show you what I was going to try to give you. So her husband took a, what I think is cute, what he thought was acceptable, what she does not like picture of her uh, with her hair all uh, looking like she did not like it. I don't want to say crazy. Um, in a bun and that's how she had to have it to fit her hat on. So I was going to make her a bun hat which now that I'm thinking about it doesn't make sense because she didn't want her hair to look like that. Hmm. Maybe it's a good thing it didn't work out. Anyway, I put an elastic, you know, a hair tie elastic. And, you know, I this is actually the second time. The reason I'm stopping is because apparently I have too much stitches, which is why it's wonky like this. Um, so I'm cutting my losses. It was really bothering my hands, so I didn't want to continue with it anyway. So I'm going to frog this and maybe make a, a hat without the elastic, see how that goes. The first time I tried it, I was using my favorite eye hook and it was not big enough. <laughs> and to add to that, not only was it not big enough, I was trying to hold it with a strand of um, Karen Simply Soft and that just wasn't working either. It was just horrible on my hands, like right here hurt on this hand. And of course this right there, actually just touching it, um, it's a little tender. So, you know, princess hands, right? So this is getting frogged. Kind of disappointed since it was the second one and my girl's birthday's coming up. So I wanted to give that to her. So I'll have to think of something else. But there, that brings me to our second, second and third work in progress. Um, so, no surprise, I watch a lot of YouTube, fix my straps. Um, and I like looking at everybody else's studios, it gives me ideas for mine. Um, I just I just like watching other artists recently. Um, so studio blogs are, are fun for me, it gives me ideas of what I can do with the stuff that I already have, which is important. I will come back to that. So, after I said F this hat, I wanted to draw with my um, 
ink pens. That sounds weird, but let me show you. Guys, I have so many supplies from, I mean, I've been an artist forever, right? Going back to when I was a kid, specifically when I was a kid. I think I might have shown you guys this before. I did. I showed you when I was talking about the hexes. Um, I think I've had this since I was, well, definitely middle school. I remember the kit that it came in. I got rid of the the, the packaging for the, the kit, um, but I kept the contents because they were cool. Um, so this is fun, but I, a couple, couple years ago, two, three years ago, I sat next to an artist, uh, at a gaming convention. Um, and that's weird. I'm, I am an artist, but I don't necessarily identify as one. I just like making stuff. I, th I think I probably identify with being a maker more than an artist, but I am. And I'm, try I'm trying to, to get used to saying that word because, you know, words are powerful, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I sat, le sat next to this lady, uh, Jessie Draws, I think, J-E-S-S-I-E-D-R-A-W-S -S -S -E uh, on Instagram. Um, her, she knew the lady next to her. And I have to say, it was annoying, but it was actually kind of cute because I, I don't want to say anything bad. Um, she and her friend that were ne was at the table on the other side of her, um, they kept singing the same part of Toto's Africa, which is, I bless the rains down in Africa, so I'm not going to sing it and get copyright strikes. Um, so like they kept singing the same song. That's something I probably would have done in middle school. And she even turned to me, she's like, you gotta hate us. And I'm like, mm, do your thing. <laughs> it must've been a good day because you can usually tell on my face when I am pissed. Um, and it was, it was annoying. Like as the day went on in my head, I'm like, oh my God, can you please just shut the fuck up? It's funny, but like, stop. <laughs> You're annoying as shit. <laughs> um, anyway, she's a she's a brilliant uh, illustrator, artist. I, again, I don't know the term, what, what terms people use for, for themselves. Anyway, I asked her for a pen to sign something or, or um, like I couldn't find my pen right at that moment. So I asked her and she handed me a Micron pen and it made me go, oh yeah. I forgot about these. These are so fun to use. So being my cheap self, I I must have decided that the microns were too expensive um, for something that I might not use. And granted, this was two years ago, so good thought, Carrie, because you're just now using them. But I ended up buying myself a set of I call these Faber Castell because that's how I said it when I was little, but I think it's Faber Castell. I don't know. I'll have to look that up. Anyway, it is a set of, um, what's it say on the back? Pit. Yeah. P I T T. Pit Artist Pens in Black. I'm going to toss this now that I've shown you because they fit much better. In one of my little containers. Focus. Thank you. Um, and I, I have them inside <laughs> the sandwich box. Um, so these. Make sure I got them all in my hand. So these six. Focus. Thank you. Hmm. It's it's eight, so oh so two were in the box. So these pens were so much fun to play with last night. 
Um, I would guess that they were under $10. Maybe I'll look up my Amazon orders because I know that's where I ordered them from and uh, put in here. Uh, what they were very fun though like I'm, I'm getting use out of these now and I'm super happy so I took them and a sharpie and I don't know if this I mean it's a sharpie fine point non-toxic or not for letter writing or cloth good to know um, but I don't know if they've changed these or not but I don't even need to get it close to my nose this thing stinks <laughs> um, so I don't know if they make them in low odor or like I don't think I've bought Sharpies recently so this might be an old one but what I wanted to show you while I'm in here is I don't know if I've gone into this before let me get all high and high and mighty doesn't seem right um, hoity toity I have an art degree y'all <laughs> my very first degree uh, let me be snobbish. I have four of them. So it is my very first degree is in uh, inter uh, interior design was the area of study, but the degree is an associate in applied arts. So I have an art degree and I'm finally putting the thing to use, honestly. Um, somebody on Facebook just yesterday asked about a table. Um, like, what's this table called? And they showed a picture. And I thought, that's a Demi Loon. <laughs> that's a Demi Loon console table with cabriole legs. <laughs> and I looked it up just to make sure. And sure enough, <laughs> I could pick out what it was. So I felt very proud of myself from, you know, pulling that knowledge from the back of my head. Uh, how old am I? 25 years ago. I haven't done anything with that. Uh, you can probably tell, it's gonna bother me all the time. You can probably tell in, in my videos, um, in the kitchen, that's a horrible color. I hated it as soon as it was on the walls. And the funny thing is it took me five years. No, no, yeah, yeah. It took me five years to pick the paint color. It's been painted since 2008. And I, I don't like it. So <laughs> someday it will be changed. Um, but yeah, I, I never did anything with that degree. I was already making more money than I would have started at. Um, so uh, I find ways to get my creativity out otherwise and keep my, um, I have a nine to five. So I keep my nine to five uh, high paying. <laughs> Artists don't always make a lot of money. Um, but anyway, I'm, I'm saying that because in here, let's see, I have all my different drafting leads. What is this? This is F. I'm going to tell you why I kept this. I'm about to tell you because there's a price on one of them. Can you see that? I don't know if it'll take it off my face. Maybe it'll focus. Yeah, there we go. Eight seventy-five. So twenty-five years ago, this cost eight seventy-five, and this is a a two H. I think I had to get five or six different containers of these because I needed each different type of lead to go in my um, drafting pens, which I'm, or pencils. Let's see, I show you that too. So this is a drafting pencil. And your lead goes in this side. It's not focusing. There we go. Goes in this side. 
And I think you twist this to take the lead in and out. But these are going to come in handy because, I mean, I don't draft anymore. I don't do drafting. But I still have the supplies. And let's see, here's one. So this is an H. This is one that has the lead in it. And because you're only sharpening the lead, let me show you. Thrilling, right, guys? This is my, my, my dirty stuff. So in here, you see that gray and black thing? I think that's called a pencil pointer. Um, but literally, you, you put the pen with the lead out like this down in it, swirl it around, and it sharpens just the lead. It's fantastic. Um, you know, uh, different kinds of erasers and stuff in here. Needed eraser. I actually squeezed this yesterday. It's still squeezable. Um, so I think it's pretty cool. So yeah, these are drafting pencils. And then, again, this... I have to find my India ink because that isn't in here, but I, I actually think you guys can't see. I actually think it's up in my granddad's um, tool chest. So I have drafting pens. Hopefully it's focusing. Um, I don't know if I'm showing it on the other side, but this top one is 0.25. Middle one is 0.4, and the bottom one is 0.35. And I have these in all different kinds of sizes. And essentially, I can use these like I would use these, I think. It's not how I was using them in the interior. It's going out, in and out of focus. It's not how I was using them in the interior design classes, but... How I might be able to use them now but that that's a long ways off because we're gonna use these up first so anyway that's that's prefacing what I'm about to show you I guess while I'm in here I might as well show you these too um, these are just fine point uh, in different color nothing fancy definitely off of Amazon and I think I think they might have even been less than five dollars, but they were a splurge a couple years ago again. I wanted to color with them, but I think the Centangle stuff might be what I'm actually going to end up doing with them. Tiny little triangle to use too. All right, so that was that. So after I got agitated, I said, F this, I want to go draw. Let me, let me find those pens. And I knew exactly where the pens were. Um, you can't quite see it, but this shelf right here, I knew it was in these boxes. It's immediately when I went for, and it was there. Just happened to be the bottom one <laughs> so it's a little frustrating going through them but i actually found baking stuff like so silicone baking stuff in these two so i can clear them out and put them downstairs which sounds like a good idea to me um so i went looking for a sketch pad These right here, they're coloring books. Uh, there's probably more coloring books in, in this uh, magazine holder too. But at the very end, those, um, there's their sketch pads and there are watercolor pads in there. So, I thought that I had some, I want to call it Strathmore 
drawing pads in there. Um, I found the big one, which was probably, I don't know what their sizes were, 18 by 24. It was a big one and it was bigger than I wanted to use. I thought I had an um, 8 by 10, 8 and a half by 11, like a standard size, but it was drawing, uh, you know, spiral, but it was drawing paper. It was not there. So either I used it or like there's one other place that it might be. I can't see, but I'm thinking it might be over there, but I was too agitated after trying to make this hat twice to go looking any further. So this cheap <laughs> CVS drawing pad, which is nine by 12 down here in the corner practically unused, like I can show you. Like not used. Um, again, I think this might even be my sister's. Sorry, Jessica. Um, but it's what I have. Not gonna lie, guys. <clears throat> I had so much fun. Let me show you. Um, uh, this is a C. My initial, this is not done yet, so I guess this is a whip. Um, yeah, so I drew the C, gave myself some guidelines with a thin, um, like a 0.2 marker, and then I went back with the Sharpie, which is why it's not a little because um, I wanted some bolder lines. But I had so much fun doing this. I'm a little pissed that I screwed this top part up here. The first line I drew was wrong on this section. But I think I would do it again because I really like the effect. But like I can totally see why people do these. It, I keep saying fun. I had a ton of fun. <laughs> um, I have been watching a lady on YouTube by the name of Sandy Hester, I believe is her name. So S-A-N-D-I, um, I as in me. Um, H-E-S-T-E-R. Uh, I, I might be wrong about that, but I will link her in the uh, description box. And um, she's a sweet old, uh, sweet old lady. She's probably younger than me. Um, she's got, got gray hair uh, or graying hair. So I, I'm having trouble aging her, assigning an age. I don't know. It doesn't matter. But... Um, she had a video about staying loose with your drawing and your painting and um, that is a challenge for me uh, but I took it to heart um, and I had some adult refreshments <laughs> and I just went for it um, and I'm so happy like I'm so happy with how it came out um, I did figure out that I went for kind of too big of a size and the control freak in me, even, even though I know we're supposed to be loosey, um, loosey goosey and, and all that, but that is a work in progress for your girl. <laughs> um, so I, what I remembered is I have... whole bunch of mats uh mats 
backing boards and um, plastic covers, envelopes, plastic envelopes to go with these, kind of like that. Um, is this our thumbnail? I think this might be our thumbnail. Yeah, I think that's going to be our thumbnail. Um, so anyway, I have, I have these. I bought these in 2016. I think I got 50 of them. And the idea was I'm really going to have to do a tour eventually. So this shelf right here, this is, the majority of it is um, cross stitch. Um, I, you know, I've done cross stitch. I don't know, since I was 14 or so, <laughs> uh, on and off, you know, it's, it's easy to, to do, pick up and put down and start back, you know, and not, not miss a beat. Um, <clears throat> so I thought, all right, well, this size might be better to help me with my need to be perfect um, because you know, don't get me wrong I am proud like I, I think this is wonderful it should hang in a gallery um, yeah because that's how seriously I take my art I'm an artist um, when you get up on it it's not perfect at all and part of that is I am trying to control things so I, I honestly think a smaller format might be better for me even though I'm supposed to be loosey-goosey I still want to control it and I might be happier with the um, the outcome so it's worth a try so this one still needs to be done this I'll probably still do in black and white these flowers so I didn't like how the flowers look when I let me say I originally did them when I did them I wasn't super happy with them so I decided to just go for it and put those little speckles on so I ended up really liking that <laughs> um, so let me pull it back up. So I think I think with my C, I think I might do that in color. And then if I ever go back into the office, which I hope is never, um, I might hang this up at my desk <laughs> to remind me what I'm working for, um, which is to not have to work after I'm 50 outside of the off uh, outside of the house put it that way um, so let me show you what's next literally right before I started filming um, is when I printed this out I used my Cricut watch next week's vlog or this this week when you see it watch this week's vlog <laughs> um, to see the struggles that I had with it so when I hold this mat up to it and it doesn't fit just be prepared for the screen. I measured there should be a quarter to a half an inch frame that sits inside this. So let me see. Hot damn y'all. I did it right. Let me see if I hold it up right. Okay. This why don't you want to focus? Come on. Let me get it closer. Obviously, I'm just holding this up behind it, but I, I, I did the effing size right. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Um, so, we have... 
Exterminate. And Geek. So these, these will go in uh, the mats once I'm done. I like the sideways better. Remember, I'm an artsy fartsy chick now. <laughs> now I have ones to choose from. Anyway, so I have Exterminate, Geek. Those will go inside the frames. And then why would I want to waste this expensive, very expensive, high class, high end art supply paper. Um, so, so I printed out Dice Geek and two exterminates on the bottom. And those, those will eventually justify me buying a laminating machine. I think they're only like 20 to $30. Um, and I plan on making bookmarks with them. Um, if you guys haven't tried Zentangle, do it. Like, before I knew what this was called, I was doing it as, you know, an eight-year-old, an eight or ten-year-old, you know. Um, and it was so much fun. like I just loved making patterns and I did it in my composition books like one of my favorite things was was taking my roller and just making angles um, and then coloring coloring them in but also using the you know the writing lines on those uh, pieces of paper um, to make striped pattern really um, so anyway that's it this week guys like I I haven't done much <laughs> um, but I, I think you might be able to tell I'm a little ex actually excited <laughs> with what I'm working on now not everything needs to be a sewing project um, I do want to get over my serger fear like that's what I'm really hoping to do this week and any of the projects that I told you about last week that were like on the horizon I still need to do them um you see me looking over to the right I see that kitty cat fabric um I want to try making um the pillowcase for Cole Emily's kitty cat I want to try making that on the serger. Um, yeah. <laughs> so we'll see if I get that done this week. This. This had me occupied for three hours. Like, and yes, I had adult refreshments. <laughs> while I was doing it, but it was so, it was just so awesome. And like my anxiety spiral wasn't there. Um, really wasn't going that bad. Like I was angry. I was angry because I couldn't figure out how to get this stupid hat to work for Emily. <laughs> um, but I wasn't, I wasn't anxious. Um, but like, it, it was so fun. Give it a try. Do you have pens? You don't even need fancy pens. Take a pencil and do it. Uh, take an ink pen, ink pen, um, you know, like a rollerball ink pen um, to do it. But yeah, that's what we have going on for the podcast this week. Um, trying to think if there's anything else I should tell you. I thought this one was going to be short and it looks like we have 35 minutes on the clock already. Um, oh, what's coming up? I hope to have some of these done. This finished. Um, acquisitions. I did get the phone mount. I don't like 
the new one either. The, the claw is much easier, um, but I think I have it right next to me. The, the claw is much easier. My right hand. So, like, it's very easy, but this part isn't. So, I don't know what I'm going to do, guys. Like, this is what I go through each time. <sighs> I did spend some time looking at different options, but... I think I might just need to suck it up and start using my actual point and shoot camera or my DSLR um, because I can use those on my tripod and go like over my shoulder kind of thing. Um, yeah, still don't know what I'm doing there, but I was laughing about acquisitions. I, in my altered state, had to talk myself out of buying um, actual micron pens and a new uh, sketchbook. <laughs> Multiple times I had to tell myself, no, no, do not order anything. You are going to use up this, the supplies that you have this year. Um, but again, if I do end up doing that, it's my money. You know, I got the space for it. But I'm really going to try to stick to, to creating. I already thought, you know, once I'm through with this paper, or I get tired of the paper, I can switch to... I don't know if you can see it. You can't. I have a watercolor. Watercolor colored pencils. Um, that I can use. I have cheap actual watercolors that I could use like, and I have watercolor paper back there. Did you hear my Baltimore accent? Watercolor? <laughs> okay, this is getting too long and I'm going to need to edit it. So I think it is time to say peace out homies, but how about this? In the comments, why don't you guys tell me what have you recently discovered, rediscovered or discovered that you just love doing? Because right now I'm loving this <laughs> Zentangle. Um, all right. So that brings us to peace out, homies. <laughs>